Man City get the job done against the high flying Saints and it's three points that Pep Guardiola will certainly be happy with. But it's definitely a different looking City that we're seeing this season, isn't it, Janish? Because usually we're used to focusing on their attack and right now all praise is on their defence with yet another clean sheet for them. Well, yeah, but everybody complain about that, right? That defensively, of course, uh, there's been some issues last season in particular in many different games and different competitions as well. We all knew how much money they've spent uh, over the years on defensive players and they haven't found a formula that works. So, so now you have it, right? At least, you know, they've conceded only 12 goals, but only scored 19 and, and, to be honest, I think it's positive once they do find a balance in terms of their attack because, uh, Kay, I'm not sure that we're watching Pep Guardiola and Manchester City for the defense. I mean, it, that's not a reason you tune in and, and talk about Pep Guardiola and Tiki Taka and great success at Barcelona and the way they attack and score. And, you know, last two or three years been sensational for Manchester City in that department. And if they do the things right going forward, then the defensive side almost doesn't matter, right? So... It's not unimportant, but I'm still not paying. I'm not paying to watch Manchester City and Pep Guardiola play well defensively. Raheem Sterling, the goal scorer today, did say it's been very difficult for them of late, particularly when it comes to scoring the goals. He thinks that they've been lacking some of their aggressiveness. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. If you look at Pep in his time, once again, in Spain and in Germany and early uh, uh, with their success at Manchester City, they press and counter press. The moment they've lost the ball high in opponent's end, that's where they all jumped. Right. I mean, they were just so good and so quick and recovering the ball close to the opponent's uh, uh, goal. And uh, yeah, they don't do that. Look. I, I truly think that nothing's going to change with that until Kunaguero comes back uh, consistently being healthy because he's going to continue to score goals. I do believe uh, I, I do believe in that, and I just think he's going to make others better, right? And and you know he himself occupies one, sometimes two uh, defenders, and then all of a sudden the Sterlings and Mareses will get uh, will get the looks. It's just as simple as that. Until that happens, I think you're going to see. Uh, Manchester City, yeah, the one nil Manchester City. Would you believe it, Kay? Uh, that sort. But look, they'll take the win because, as you said, Southampton were uh, were so good. Value for for money, that's for sure. But it is interesting that in the second half, I mean, City were not in control of the game. But this is what Pep loves, almost must have. He loves controlling the games. They're playing on the counter. Ederson gets a yellow card for time wasting. They're going to the corner flags to protect the result. So again, for as long as you win, for as long as you close the gap to, to Liverpool and all of that works and eventually you start playing well, fair play, but it's, it's not the Manchester City that I think we want. And Raheem Sterling actually said that he himself doesn't feel that he's been at his individual level recently, but he's very close to being involved in 150 goals under Pep Guardiola at this club. Do you think he's been a bit harsh on himself? Yeah, maybe he's not as instinctive when, you know, that, you know, when City were firing on all cylinders, it just kind of everything he touched turned into gold. Everybody kind of forgot how we criticized him in the years past. I think he's become more mature, of course, as a player and as a finisher, more composed. And today, I'll tell you that that was a composed finish. It wasn't easy. I mean, yeah, you look at Kevin De Bruyne and puts it on the platter, but kind of clips that ball where he has to kind of catch it right on the little half volley, doesn't he? Because if he's a half a second late, you know, that goes over the bar or God knows where it goes. So I suppose I think when the whole team is struggling to create as many chances as they have, or at least to finish them, you can understand a little bit of a doubt. And I think I see that, but still, I mean, pretty decent season from him. I know we do like to focus on the attack when it comes to City, as you were saying, but we do have to praise that defence at the moment. But something that really is standing out is Aymeric Laporte, not included again today. Yeah, we, you know, when I saw that, look, I mean, there may be some excuses. I've seen a knock and, and Gabriel Jesus as well, not available. I, although I think there's a probably better explanation for him missing. But look, he at the moment, he's lost uh, the, the spot to John Stones, right? I mean, John Stones had, had to sit for a long, long, long time, uh, uh, you know, on the sidelines. And he seems to be the one. And, you know, what's crazy is that's why we have to be careful as pundits, right? Because... 
I mean, is there anyone that ever foresaw Imeric Laporte not being in a starting 11? But remember how we were saying last season when he was injured all the time, it's like, well, wait until Imeric Laporte comes back. All City needs is Imeric Laporte. All City, this, that, and the other. So, uh, I mean, he's such an important player and it has been. And all of a sudden now he's available to play and, and we don't know where he is. So such is life of a, of a footballer. It is incredible how it changes. And I have to say, look, uh, I'm happy for John Stones because he's been a, a forgotten man. You know, I didn't think he was going to ever play for Manchester City again. And and here we are where him and Bru, uh, Raul, um, um, Raul, Ruben Diaz are forming this good partnership. It's defensively City looks sound. And don't worry, Imeric Laporte is going to be fine. I'm sure of it. Yeah, and here they are with another clean sheet for Man City. A clean sheet and just the one goal that earned them all three points against Southampton today. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.